Hey, what's going on guys? This is a video you guys have always been asking for. It's a deaf dog. So we have a deaf dog coming in. It's a Dojo, Dogo, Argentino, Argentina type of Mastiff type dog. A lot of you guys have been asking about this breed and you've been asking about deaf dogs. So this dog comes in with severe reactivity, large and in charge. So I'm gonna walk you through how to work with a deaf dog with leash reactivity. I normally won't even go anywhere near another dog because of this. Have you taught her heel traditionally yet at all? Like just walk nice? A little bit. I'm struggling with keeping her behind. Okay. So let's do this. Let me grab one of my training leashes and then okay. I'm gonna work with her for a second. You're gonna wanna put a flat collar on her with the safety clip for that. Okay. Just because like right now that prong is not connected. That's see how that's not locked in. Oh this one, okay. Yeah. That's why we have safety clips though. It attaches to the um, leash and it attaches to the flat collar. I'll show you after. So that way if you corrected her and it wasn't on or something and right. that popped off or it wasn't clipped. Uh, yes, right. <laughs> yeah. What do you usually handle, left or right? Right. Okay. What do you usually handle? Right. Okay, perfect. So let's go right. So all you'll do is you'll keep her on the right side and you'll just, you could do whatever, if you want to do a hand or a tap or whatever you want to kind of start okay. this, you can. Um, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. Or you can just go. But you, but you typically want to, you want to start with like, hey, I'm about to do something. Right. This is usually what Perfect. I do. Perfect. So the we're going to start with that. That's okay. going to replace. That's going to replace your heel command. Okay. Or what you're going to say. Perfect. Okay. Your mark, your cue. A couple things when you're handling. I want you to just look forward when you're handling, but I also want you to slow down just a little bit. The slower you go, the more you understand if she's paying attention or not. So. Go back this way. There, good. What you wanna do is, in a situation like that, and she's reacting, again, it's hard because you can't verbalize to her to knock it off. She's gonna be so focused on the dog. What I would do is draw back and then get the dog back to you. Uh, so basically, okay. you leave her side. She should be very aware of your body. That's the name of the game with working with a deaf dog, is she should be always constantly paying attention to your body. So what I've done in the past is I'll come out and I'll turn and I'll kind of pop the leash. Hey, I'm turning. I'll pop the leash and basically it's the same thing I would do with like an advanced dog on obedience where I'm like, you have to calibrate with me no matter where I'm going because then they'll be very body aware in a situation yeah. like that. If you came out and she started to build like she did and you drew back, it's a fair opportunity for you to say, Hey, you know, you got to follow me. So in most cases we'll verbalize it or we'll, we'll use a cue to say, Hey, come, mm -hmm. or we'll say heal, or we'll say, leave it which is a fair opportunity to say, hey, I'm going this way, you have to. I'm coming back this way, you have to. And leave it means disengage, and if you don't, you're gonna get corrected. But gotcha. because we can't cue that, you have to use your body. Let me just handle her for a second, see what I can. My worry is, is um, because she really hasn't been corrected yet, you haven't really punished her yet. I'm worried because I think the e-collar is gonna play such a big role in her life. I'm mindful of that, and I don't wanna grab the e-collar, slap it on her, and then use it as the pager because that will start to associate things. It may work, but because it's, again, it's gonna be such a big thing in her life, I'd rather have a different association, but that would probably be really helpful right now, and we're gonna be able to use that in the future. Perfect. But Good. you're handling right now, you haven't been able to actually correct her. Gotcha. And my other concern is once she does get corrected for the first time or if her potentially redirecting, have you had any incidences with that at all with her getting pissed off and kind of coming back at you or coming back no. on the leash? Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of handling with her. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Just doing some basic leash pressure skills. So a little bit of pressure, turns off. Got the zoomies going. Mm -hmm. Perfect, nice. That was better. But that's essentially what you wanna do. Okay. Is, again, like let's teach her Pay attention, hey, I'm turning. Pay attention, hey, I'm turning. Pay attention, turning. Pay attention, 
Recalling. Good. Okay. Good. And then that 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 kind of like playful thing would be the body like break. But it's like training the mime here. It's good. If you guys find this video helpful, do me a solid favor, like this video, leave a comment in the comments below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on all your notifications, and follow me on Instagram. The links are in the description below or right here on the screen. Go out that door and grab that dog again, and I wanna see how she does. But watch this correction, okay? The prong collar should come up and kind of pop that way. Right now, she's just been pulled. So you come out, turn, pop. I'm gonna do this a couple more times. I'm gonna to touch and come back. Good, good. So that touch is kind of like, hey, I'm recalling, okay? I'm gonna do this again. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna do some healing. So come back. Good, and I'm kind of just being clunky with myself so she can feel me move a little bit. And then also I can just tap her here. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, okay. Do this recall again. Nice. Good. Do this again. Oh, wow. Good decision. So now I'm going to stop getting into like troubleshooting and I'm just going to handle her the way that I would normally handle a dog. Good girl. Paying her for that. Good. Okay. So handling good. Recall really quick. Yeah. Ooh, rock star. Healing again. Turn. Pay attention. Turn. Good. Turn. Good. And I'm talking out loud for you guys. Slowing things down. Turn. Good. Turn. But you hear that slink there? Yes. That's what you need. That's what you don't have. Right now you're holding on. It feels just like a pull. Yes. Yeah. This is handling. You got to take advantage. You got to like learn how to handle better yeah. and, and you got to get ahead of the game. So you okay. see a dog, you turn. This is my turn. Yes. Kind of rewarding her for that. This is my recall. Rewarding her for that. And that's what you're going to use to counter. Okay. Dogs don't need words. We need words but dogs are very intuitive. All right, you guys, if you like this video and any of the other videos that you see here on YouTube, then you're gonna love the No Bad Dog Members Club. The link is in the description below. You guys are gonna get the full version of what you're seeing here on YouTube, sometimes over an hour long, as well as all the uncut stuff we don't put on here and all the things in between, the seminars, the travel. Click the link below, it's $19.99 for the whole month and you guys can learn a lot more about what you're seeing here in the video. Just walk, but remember, do your turns. So basically pay attention, give her a little bit more leash, Put the leash all on your right hand. Yep, turn, because that's a real dog to her. What did you do so, with this? I forgot the dog. You have was there. to make your body like. You have to really be like, hey, I'm t like some. Just like. clunk your feet or do whatever you need to do. Turn. Good. Turn again. Oops. Slow down a little bit. Now turn. Good, and then just give her like. You have to use your body and animate yourself okay. to reward her. Turn again. When you come out and you turn, you have to give her enough leash in order to have a, a good pop or a good flick. Uh, okay. So when you turn, there's gotta be enough leash there, but if she's tight, you're pulling again. So what? It, how far? This much? I would take this and I typically will do like that. Okay. Now turn again, pop. So that was still like a pull. Gotcha, okay, so, so quicker. Yeah. yeah, turn. You're trying to get her before she gets herself. There, now reward her for that somehow. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna get another dog out and then I want you to do this in real life. See, you have no leverage here. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going this way, I'm gonna drag her. So you almost have to come out. Give her a little space, then yeah. the pop. You have okay. to, like mechanically, if this is tight, you have to come out and then pop. If she can behave like this with me, she can behave like this for you. It's just a matter of refinancing the whole equation here, right? So you come out and then you turn. 
and then you would pay. Very good, that's exactly what we wanna see. Good thing about being deaf, right? Not hearing anything. <laughs> Didn't hear that, did you? So watch, so see here, this would be a pull, and that's not gonna do you any good. That's just okay. gonna kind of piss her off. Guys are doing great. I think it's cool to see her do the things that you really want her to do. You just have to figure out how to play the machine. Right, that's all. right. So, all I'm good. glad she's responding yeah. to both of you. Yeah. Uh, uh, out. Out. Good. Stay. <clears throat> now just do a drawback. Yep. Yay, good. There you go. Just kind of move her forward. Perfect. Well done. Well done. All right, you're going to, yep. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't look, don't look. Good, and she thinks that's still a dog, so that was good. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Pop, pop, good. I would, I would pass that when, dog again and reward her when she does good. Okay. Because what I was seeing right there, I don't know if you saw that, is she was now looking at the dog with inquisitive, okay. who are you, instead of reacting. And that's exactly what we've been looking good. for this whole time, and you've good. been looking for this whole time. So when you're passing that fake dog and she's just looking, that's where you would, you know, if you had treats or whatever, or okay. at least just, just touch her and just let her know that that was good. Good job, okay. Yeah, go. Question on yeah. the pop pop, yeah. is it more up than? If she's, if she, um, it's more back, cause she's gonna be riding in front of you. Okay. So it's more back. Relax the arm, good. Go to the wall and then go back to the, uh, the desk there. Okay. Left. Left. Keep walking, there you go. <laughs> yes, good. Good job. Yep, 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 yep. Well done, much better. She looked at both dogs and did good. Nice job. Now turn, see how she's starting to build? Pop, 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 keep walking. Go back, this is your de-escalation pattern. Go back, this way. Good, if you see her start to build, Okay. You're going to take your right leg and you're going to cut her off or you're going to draw back. She's building, okay. so do something. And then keep, yeah. Okay. Her head are the headlights. I so if see. she's looking over this way, you're taking that vehicle and you're flipping it around. Nice and calm. Perfect. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Tails wagging, good language. Looked at the dog, good. Let's do a turn. Better, 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 better. Good. Well, I'm really glad that she did what she did so you could see what's going on. Yes. This is gonna be life-changing. She's like, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>